so before I start the review of AK13 or AK13, I want to say to compensate the mess on the left, I've got some trash. Uh, no, not trash. I mean posters on the right. You see the Zelda one and the Mario Kart, the original from the SNES. It's a bit in that style. I really like it. I love it. I saw it and uh, I need that. And I finally put them up. It took some time and I hope they will stick. I didn't really put on the best tape. But it, I, I will work out. And otherwise you see them fall or be gone. And I will fix this later. So the review. Let's get on it. Because I ramble on way too long about this in the back. I really loved this one, I really did, and that's because it was a bit different, or a bit different in the way. I really loved the way that they brought that there was some sort of corruption in this district where the nobles were all high and keeping all the power and the ranks to themselves, and the normal people were poor and isolated from the rest of the country, which was pretty sad. So, with that said, he found out, or not really found out. They told him actually they were planning a coup because he was taking some pictures, Jean, for his sister. And while well, some people that are involved with the coup saw him and they thought he listened to them, but he really wasn't. And they said, Oh, you hear about the coup now, we have to take you. Yeah, now we knew about the coup because they took him. Not really that. Gene really cared that much about the coup, but they, because they were talking about a different coup, not the real big coup about the country, but the small in the district. And he could understand it because he was eating somewhere, and then that guy from the ACCA right there was like, oh, you can't eat here, you have to go away. And all the people were like, oh, you have a cell phone, that would come from, I will pay you for it. And then he casually sticks up a cigarette. And everybody is even more shocked because those things are damn expensive. And I want to know the price. I really am excited for the price. Like, how much go these things for? He gets them, but I don't know if he would pay for them if he could. If he had to pay. So, you know what I mean? A bit so excited about that I'm I'm just am it's it's like uh, like how much are they so but that was a bit like oh things are weird what is going on here don't people know phones but probably there it's really <laughs> excluded uh, isolated from the other con for the whole country and everything get checked and everybody who gets in it's a bit of a North Korea Style, I think that reminded me of it and just something that I'm rumbling on right now out of my head But with that being said I really liked it. I really loved the way I don't know Gene just casually talks with people does things he just easily He doesn't make really crazy things about it. He just does what he does and he does his work and even though he's being captured and getting threatened I don't know but it was it was funny and this leader that worked there at the ACCA um, that give him this sort of tour not really a tour of course it's more an inspection but, <laughs> but you know what I mean and he was also involved and he was shocked when he came in that he saw they captured him because it was a bit uh, like not really the smartest idea to do somebody just take him and say oh you know about the coop even if they don't know even if they know, they can't really say like, oh, you're planning a coup if they don't have any evidence. And if they do, well, you're screwed, but you should be better watching out with what you're doing. But with that being said, it was pretty nice. It was good done. It was not weird at all. Really loved it. But I don't know. I really, ah, I wish Gene could do more with it. Like he had to tell, like, say, well... If you are leaving the country, you can talk about the scoop, all that stuff, because they want to seem like everything is fine. And of course it isn't. He knew that. He knew. He also said at the end, he learned a lot about this, about the country and everything with this visit, of course. And that's understandable because you know that things not always are the way they are supposed to be. And not everything is right and not everything is good. And I think sometimes people have this sort of perception that everything, everywhere... Or in another city, in another company, everything is going perfect. But to be honest, 
it isn't. And you know why? Because there are humans. Humans make mistakes. People make mistakes. Where people work there are making mistakes. Also because humans are susceptible to... Um, I want to say the right word, but I don't know. Corruption also. Things like that. But just also casually mistakes. Like spilling something or breaking something. That's possible. Or forgetting... It is in the human nature to make sometimes mistakes. Nobody's perfect, so yeah, had to live with that. That's actually all I got. I hope you liked this video. If you did, let me know in the comments. Also, did you like the posters? And if you want to see more of me, you can subscribe right there and see another video right there. Thank you for watching. Oh, so appreciate it. And hope we'll see you next time. Goodbye.